Hi everybody, this is Clinton at the Best Buy blog. Today I will review for you the Focusrite Scarlett 4i4 audio interface. It's a four channel audio interface that's really a complete hub for all your instrument and microphone needs. And it continues what has become part of a great legacy of Focusrite compact audio interfaces. These fourth generation interfaces offer some new features and improvements compared to the third generation interfaces, building upon what the previous generations have had to offer. In the video, I'll talk about the features and I'll give a short demonstration of the interface just to mention right away that I am recording this video through the interface. So what you're hearing is the preamp with the microphone and I have my bass right here. So a little later on in the video, I'll play my bass as well so you can hear that color with some of the other features. If you like the video, please hit the thumbs up and you can subscribe to the Best Buy channel for more product reviews from all sorts of things that are available at Best Buy. And if you'd like to read my full review of the Scarlett 4i4 interface, there's a link in the description below to that article. The 4i4 audio interface is very similar to the Scarlett Solo and Scarlett 2i2 interfaces that I have previously reviewed. However, an advantage of the 4i4 interface is its flexibility for a musician who has multiple talents. For example, if you played guitar and you sang and you played some bass and you played piano or synth, you can manage all of those instruments through the 4i4, through the various types of inputs. You have two microphone preamps, two line in inputs, and also a MIDI in and out. And what makes the 4i4 interesting, in fact, the fourth generation Scarlet interfaces as a whole, are some onboard features. Some of the upgraded features include the air mode, which in the third generation was a, a high frequency lift, but now it has added also a drive element. So you can select between this presence, which is a the high frequency lift and the drive, which is some grit and some saturation. It opens the door for various uses. For example, the air is very helpful for vocals, whereas the drive is very helpful for, well, I really like it when I play it on my bass. That's one feature that has been improved upon vastly. The second feature are the preamps and the focus right interfaces are known for the high quality, low noise preamps. This has been a case for a, a good while. However, with this generation, they're better than ever. And they have an expanded gain range of 69 decibels, which allows for the use of microphones such as this one, which is a dynamic vocal microphone, which usually needs a bit more gain to have a fully strong and functioning signal. Now, thanks to the updated preamps, you can have that without having to add any external source to bring that volume to a good working level. This makes this interface foolproof for a lot of reasons. There are also two important features, the auto gain and the safe clip mode. Auto gain helps you set your level to have a healthy recording level. I used it before this video began to set my level. So hopefully this comes across nice and clearly with a healthy volume when you're listening. And the safe clip is a built-in protection against sudden volume peaks. So if you were to bump the microphone or if you were to hit it or even just speak really loudly, then the, then the safe clip would manage that volume so you're not having a sound that's jumping out abrasively to the listener. All of these features really help you with your production overall making your job easier to accomplish when it comes to mixing and post-production. That's a quick overview of what the 4i4 offers. I'm going to set up the camera now and look up close at the interface to talk about some of the features. So we're gonna take a closer look at the Focusrite Scarlett 4i4 now. On the front panel, we have our two preamps, one and two. On the back panel are inputs three and four. Now these are quarter inch line inputs. So you would plug synths or you could plug guitar bass into that no problem but you do not have access to the preamps afterward we have our output which is controlling our four outputs on the back of the 4i4 you could see a situation where you'd use this for one set of studio monitors and perhaps this for another set of studio monitors if you wanted or you could use one set of studio monitors and a send return for a piece of outboard gear so if you had a compressor or a reverb or delay or any kind of effect a great way to get that tapped in. And over here, of course, there's one quarter inch headphone jack. So I have my headphones plugged in there and I'm listening here with the adjustable volume. I am not listening through the output right now. 
The select button allows you to change between channel one and channel two. So if I press, you see the, the channel two becomes green. I don't have anything plugged in right now, so it's not going to react. 48 volt is for phantom power, which I do not need for this microphone, so I'm not using it. The instrument button allows you to switch channels one and two between an XLR input or a guitar. So you can see the jacks are hybrid. They have the three pin XLR and then the quarter inch in the center. There's the air button, the auto gain, and the safe. I'm going to shift now to something called the Focusrite Control 2 app. And this is where you can manage all of these features on your computer as instead of having to reach in and push the buttons and do the menu diving via the front of the console, you do it on the screens. So let's have a look at the Focusrite Control 2 app. And as you can see, it looks very similar to the channel strips. And you can see my voice coming in right there. And you see the 48 volt control, the instrument line control, safe clip, and then the air button and the auto gain. So I'm gonna start by showing the auto gain. When I press it, everything's gonna turn blue. My voice is gonna drop out. And as I continue to talk, it's listening and it will set the gain. It's going to set the gain somewhere near where it is now because I've already used it to get a good level for this video. So I'm talking, I'm talking. It says perform like you are recording. Talking, talking, talking. The auto gain listens for 10 seconds and then I guess it finds an average and then sets your gain. So I mean, it looks like I'm a bit louder than I was before, but I actually think that's too loud. So I'm gonna turn it back just a bit. I thought it was really nice where it was before. So that's how the auto gain works. It takes about 10 seconds. You have to talk into the microphone or you have to play into your instrument to give it something to listen to. And then if I hit the safe clip, it's gonna protect from any pops or any sudden loud noises. So that's, it's a limiter. Really is what it comes down to. It's a limiter for, for your productions. And then what I find probably the most fascinating thing is the air button. When you push the air button, it's on and then you select two choices, presence. Presence is simply a crispier high, mid to high end EQ boost that allows your voice to cut through or lets your instrument to cut through the mix a little bit more. And then presence and drive. And that's a fun one for me too. I like this, it gets a little beefier. I like it on my uh, on my electric bass and I'll show you that in a moment. Those three really nice features, the auto gain, the air mode with presence and presence plus drive options and the safe clip help you establish really good baseline for your audio productions. It's an important thing to get your signal sorted out, get it sounding good at the source. When you have your microphone and you go through the auto gain, it's gonna help you establish a good level so that you have a good sound at the end and you're not dealing with a whole bunch of problems in post-production or mixing. I'm going to switch over to channel two now. I'm going to use the auto gain to set for my bass. Here's my bass, <laughs> ready to go. Here comes the auto gain. And it shows quite a low level. And from there, I can add the air mode and I'm going to choose presence and drive. I just like that one. So it's a little bit of saturation to the sound. Uh, I find it very welcome. It's a great choice. Just to give you a quick idea of how the Focusrite Scarlett 404 sounds with my bass and then with the microphone. If you look at the Focusrite Control 2 app, you'll see that there also are options for mixing separate mixes as you have four inputs and then playback mixes. So you can be sending to various places through the outputs in the back through the headphone mix. I won't dive into how that works. It's a, it can be a little bit of work to get it set up the way you want it, but it's not a bad thing. To add value to the Scarlett 4i4 interface, there is something that Focusrite offers called the Hitmaker Expansion Pack. So far as I can tell, it comes with the 4i4 and not the smaller models. It's worth noting that in the Hitmaker Expansion Pack, you have Addictive Drums 2 with one rock and roll ad pack. You have Softude Marshall Silver Amp, the Relab LX480, which is a emulation of a classic digital reverb, some plugins from Brainworks via Plugin Alliance, 
interestingly, the Focusrite console plugin. So that aligns quite well with, with the Focusrite interface. The BX Master Desk for helping with uh, any mastering that you might try to do with your interface, as well as a soft synth plugin. There's the Sonox Doubler, which is really great for vocal production. The NI Massive, Native Instruments Massive Pack, which gives you access to some great sounds. You have access to a whole bunch of other things as well that come with the Focusrite product, namely some digital audio workstations, some DAW options, including a Pro Tools artist subscription, access to Acast, which is really good for broadcasting podcasts, and Hindenburg, which is a DAW, which is more focused towards audiobook narration. In conclusion, I'll just say that the Focusrite Scarlet 404 interface is a great option for you if you are a multifaceted music maker, music producer. It has four channels, which is not a full studio, obviously, but it's extremely compact and it gives you all the options needed. And when you add the air mode with its presence and its drive functions, as well as the auto gain and the clip safe features, you will have a super efficient and high quality sounding production tool. The additional features, which also include the Hitmaker expansion pack, serve to supplement the 4i4 in a way that makes it very high value. You can pick it up via the Best Buy website. Thank you for watching this video. I hope you found the information useful. If you liked the video, hit the thumbs up and you can also subscribe to the Best Buy channel for more product reviews from all sorts of things that are available at Best Buy. And you can also read my full blog article in the link in the description below. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.